Hi everybody, Scott Taylor here from Southwest Family Medical. This video, our goal is to help you and, and make you feel comfortable about doing injections and drawing up your injections in the comfort of your own home. So you don't have to come to our office, you know, once a week or twice a week. That's our goal, okay? So I wanted to take just a couple of minutes and show you how to safely, effectively, and very painlessly do injections on yourself at home, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to demonstrate how to do an injection today. So in your kit that's gonna be sent to your home um, in discrete packaging, it's gonna have a FedEx white label over the top of it. Um, again, just to recap, your semi-glutide does need to be kept cold, so get that in the fridge. It's gonna have a green sticker on it saying this needs to be refrigerated. It'll be all wrapped up in little ice packs, but you'll pull out of your box some syringes that look just like this and then you're gonna pull out your injectable that will look like this. I'm gonna demonstrate testosterone therapy injection, but it is exactly the same as how you would do semi-glutide. Testosterone is actually a little bit harder to do because you actually have to, it's, it's oil-based, so it's harder to draw up, it takes a little bit longer, and when you inject it in, you have to kinda of go a little bit slower and it's a little bit harder to do. Semi-glutide, it's very simple. It comes out easily and it injects even easier than that. So I'm gonna show you how that's to be done. So first thing that we do is we, you know, grab an alcohol wipe. You can buy a box of these at Walgreens for literally like $4.95 for over 300 of them. So it'll last you a whole year. You just kinda of wipe off the bottle like that. I'm gonna demonstrate in my arm right here Again, injections for semi-glutide and testosterone, they both can be done either subcutaneously or intramuscular. There's a, there's a misnomer there that uh, testosterone has to be intramuscular or IM. It does not. Our recommendations are twice a week, Monday and Thursday for your T, um, sub-Q or IM. I'm gonna just demonstrate the IM version um, depending on the size and your body type, it may not even be IM, depending on how large your arms are. Um, I need to hit the gym more so my arms aren't super buff, but I'm just going to show you how it's done. It's very, very simple. So I'm going to actually clean this spot on my arm. I'm just literally going to go like that. For me, it lives, leaves a little wet spot right there. I've already cleaned the top of that. I'm going to take the syringe and again, these needles are so small that they're even hard to see. If you could look at it, it's no more than that long and it's so tiny. Then you pull the cap off of that. Now let's say we're doing testosterone therapy and we're doing you know, 50 units, so half a milliliter. I'm gonna pull this syringe back past the 50 and if you see I let it go, a lot of times it'll move up on itself but I'm gonna pull this back past where my dosage is that I want it to be, okay? So it's, it's actually really important as you pull this back, and I know you're not gonna really be able to see the numbers, but I wanna demonstrate for you. So I'll pull it like that, and I'm going to puncture the top right in the middle of this little circle, insert the needle, and then I'm just going to tip it, and I'm trying to show you, so I'm gonna hold it a little differently than I normally would, and then I'm gonna pull this back past the five and the zero, probably about to the 60. Now, if this was semi-glutide, it would already be filled because it's not oil-based. It's not thick at all. But this is oil-based, so it takes a minute. It's, it's almost kind of sliding into the syringe, and that's okay. I recommend keeping your testosterone just on your bathroom cabinet, it's sitting there. It can stay at room temperature. It's totally fine. Don't keep it in the pickup truck in the sun. Same thing with your semi-glutide, except the semi-glutide needs to be kept in the refrigerator. So um, what I did and what I do is I, I walk downstairs, I take one of my syringes from my box for my semi-glutide, I, I dose it out of the refrigerator and inject it literally in the kitchen, okay? So while I was talking, this whole thing is filled up, but if you remember, I pulled it to 60 instead of the 50. So I need to actually push some of that testosterone back into the vial, like that. And you might be, oh, there's an air bubble, I'm going to die. It's okay if there's a little bubble. But 
what you want to do is sometimes you have to kind of tap it, you know, you see in the movies, you know, they're doing things like hitting the syringe that helps the bubble go up to the top. And then if you have to, you can pull back, let it fill up a little more and then push that and that bubble will go out. Pretty simple. Okay. But if there's a little tiny little bubble in there, it's not the end of the world. If you're super concerned about it, push it all the way back out and pull, pull back in. But again, when you're doing, when you're doing your semi-glutide, again, the dosing of semi-glutide, you have to really watch it. It's like 0.5. So you're going to be putting in half of that number one, meaning you're going to be like done. That's how quick it'll be. It'll pull right in. Most of our patients get the semi-glutide with the uh, B12 boost. Um, it's a bunch of B vitamins that's inside the uh, semi-glutide as well. So it'll be red in color. It won't be clear like this one. But again, everyone kind of has different things that they might do. But most of our patients, it's red. Um, mine is separate. Um, but, and I'm practicing on this video with testosterone and not this actual semi-glutide. Okay? So again, just to recap, you would clean it. Boom. Pull it back to the desired or the prescribed amount. Very simple. So I'm actually going to do my injection today with you so you can see it. I'm going to pull that back. Now it's testosterone, so it takes a bit. And I'm going to push back up a little bit. That's it. Now that spot, I've let my sleeve come on down. Now again, you don't have to be too concerned. I'm going to take that wipe again and just kind of swipe it down. Can use one hand with a finger like this. And again, it's so small, guys. I want to show you. It's literally boop. That's it. Like, that's it. It's so simple. So, again, some people that watching the video, if you have a medical background, you're like, hey, that didn't go into the muscle. It's okay if it didn't go into the muscle. Testosterone therapy will still be absorbed. Semi-glutide, we want it. We want it uh, subcutaneously anyway. So, the injection sites don't have to be the arm. Some people don't like it in the arm. Um, because this is my needle, I can recap it. Um, needle storage, if you have a big protein jug, throw them in there. A lot of people go on Amazon for like $31. You can buy one of those big red jugs and it comes with a box to ship it back and it gets properly disposed of. Or feel free to bring your syringes to the clinic and we'll properly dispose of them. But injection sites, you know, right here in the arm, here and here. Um, I like to do my semi-glutide just kind of on my belly. I'm not going to put my belly on this video, but you kind of pinch the skin, pull the skin out and go right above the thumb is what most people like to do. And it's because I can see it and I can get good access to it, whether I'm right or left handed. It's very simple. And again, remember semi-glutide is, it's, it goes in so fast. I showed you the example of testosterone, but semi-glutide goes so quick. Okay, guys, don't be scared about injections. If you're still nervous, still concerned, not sure on the dosing, how far to pull it back, call your weight loss coordinator. They'll talk to you about how much to, to draw. Again, please read the directions carefully. Your product will have a prescription on it and it'll tell you exactly how much to inject. But if you're not sure, you're like, oh, I don't really know, um, call us. It's okay. A lot of people that have never done this before, it can be a little... A little intimidating but once you've done it once or twice you'll become a pro and uh, become very simple painless and very effective for you okay guys again Scott Taylor here Southwest Family Medical have a great day